Hi, this is Rimpal Patel and today I will be talking about the oil spill in Santa Barbara, California. The flow of the PPT will be as follows. We will see the purpose and objective followed by the introduction, the oil spill, the impact it had on wildlife and its aftermath. The purpose of this presentation is to showcase the environmental effects of the spill and its aftermath. One of the largest oil spills in US water occurred in January and February 1969 off the coast of Southern California, near the city of Santa Barbara. The environmental effects of the spill were immediate and dramatic. It was the largest oil spill in United States waters by that time. And now it ranks third after the 2010 Deepwater Horizon and 1989 Exxon Valdez spills. It remains the largest oil spill to have occurred in the waters of California. The oil spill was caused by Unocal A. The source of the spill was a blowout on January 28, 1969, six miles from the coast on Union Oil's platform A in the Dos Cuadras offshore oil field. Within a 10 day period, an estimated 80,000 to 100,000 barrels of crude oil spilled into the channel and onto the beaches of Santa Barbara County in Southern California, fouling the coastline from Goleta to Ventura, as well as the northern shores of the four northern channel islands. As you see in the image, the oil spill spread at an alarming rate in just three days after the incident. On the morning of January 28, 1969, Workers drilling the fifth well reached its final depth of 3,479 feet, attaining this depth in only 14 days. Of this depth, only the top 239 feet had been fitted with a steel conductor casing. The rest was to be fitted with one once the drill bit was out. The workers then tried the method of last resort, where they dropped the remaining drill pipe almost half mile long into the hole and then crushed the top of the well pipe from the sides with a pair of enormous steel blocks slamming together with the force sufficient to stop anything from escaping from the well. It took 13 minutes from the time of the initial blowout to the time the enormous steel blocks were activated. It was then that the workers started noticing the increase in bubbling at the ocean surface hundreds of feet from the rig. Plugging the well at the top had failed to stop the blowout, which was now tearing through the ocean floor in several places. The disturbances on the surface of the ocean, which began to appear only 14 minutes after the blowout, expanded during the next 24 hours. The largest was a dramatic boil up about 800 feet east of the platform. Another smaller disturbance broke the ocean surface about 300 feet west of the platform. Also, there were several smaller areas of bubbling that could be observed around the platform itself. Even after the well was further plugged at the platform with drilling mud during the next week, these continued to boil up. Investigators later determined that oil and gas was emerging uncontrolled through five separate rifts on the ocean floor. Workers were finally able to control the leakage at least to a minimal degree on February 6th. Seepage from the rifts in the ocean floor continued well into 1970. Uh, the impact on wildlife. The spill had a significant impact of marine life in the channel, killing an estimated 3,500 seabirds, as well as marine animals such as dolphins, elephant seals, and sea lions. The feathers of the birds were plastered in oily muck and the corpses of seals and dolphins washed in with the tides. Aftermath. In the aftermath of this incident, many activists came forward to protest against the corporations responsible for this spill. Gaylord Nelson of Wisconsin, an American politician and environmentalist, organized what came to be known as Earth Day. He succeeded in amassing 20 million people to the cause of educating them on issues related to the environment on April 20, 1970. This launched a new wave of environmental activism. As we see in this image, the number of spills reduced over the years. This is because people are now more aware and feel responsible towards the health of the environment. 
To summarize the presentation, the oil spill of 1969 had some of the most adverse effects on the environment. This led to the inception of one of the biggest environmental movements of all the time. The awareness created over time has succeeded in reducing such incidents further. Thank you.